This week on Garage Land, we're chatting on our porch with three-fifths of much-hyped Montreal punks, Dig It Out. Formed just over a year ago, the band's batshit insane live show has garnered them some pretty serious praise in magazines like Exclaim and Alternative Press. With only a solitary EP under their belts, Dig It Up are looking to make a pretty big dent in your party punk brain in the coming year. Dig It Up in a fairly short period of time has kind of got a lot of word of mouth you know, interest going. Like, I first started hearing about you guys, like, there's this fucking sick new band in Montreal called Dig It Up. We're like, are they men or are they beasts? So <laughs> we, just, we didn't know. We just sort of were hearing these rumors of, like, a like this, that oh, dirt urban cloud urban just coming yeah. down the highway was essentially kind of how it was told to us. Um, <laughs> what would you guys attribute that to? We just play shows and, like, you know, we play for, like, five, ten people and... What is that? Oh, it's Lady. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> dig It Up's beast, coming. Dig it beast. Oh, no, it's yeah. back. Beast. They, they're, they're real Dig It Up. <laughs> they're real Dig It Up. Like, <laughs> you guys are Dig It Up. <laughs> <laughs> when we first started, we played for like five, ten people like, you know, any other band. Mm. And then, like, you know, two or three people would like us, and they would come to the show and bring people, and just, that's how it all began. You know? I think there's some honesty in what we do, and we just try to go out and have fun every time, and it comes through. <laughs> so people see that we're having fun, and they have fun with us. For sure. Like, you, there's nothing else. Who doesn't like fun? Like, I hate it. Like, you know, like, some, like, big statement or everything, like, yeah, yeah, like, we can do, like, all these fucked up, like, tiny, <laughs> like, we prepare power chords, yeah. and we turn it really, really loud. <laughs> to be fair, Diego can do some really yeah, fucked up shit, can. actually. I do what I can. Yeah. The sort of degree of insanity that comes along with the Dig It Up Live experience project. Has anyone been injured? Has anything bad oh, ever yeah. happened? Every Ottawa. show. <laughs> Ottawa. Last year, there was literally blood. Um, so, so we tell me. We played a house show in uh, this place called, uh, they called it the Book Depository. I don't know why, but it's some there guy's no b- basement. And the venue was open for like, I think, three months. The format is like a house party. Everyone just drinks a lot of booze. And then the bands play around like 1 a.m. So we had got there around 5, so we've been drinking all afternoon. And by the time we went on, uh, Everyone in the band had had quite except a, quite Diego, a f- except Diego Diego had a quite a, quite a few brews. Anyway, so the whole place is a small basement. There's a low roof, and there's about I don't know 50 or 60 kids in the basement. So <clears throat> we started playing. Everyone started kind of going a little wild. And then when the like the house lights came on, there are people <laughs> been dropping beer bottles. There was like broken glass on the floor, and some people had fallen down and like cut their hands. And, and then they like high. fell into Mike and like wiped blood on his like no, forehead. I was wiping blood, blood on the, people. I don't know. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> Pretty cool. So there was that. Not yesterday, the day before, we were in Newmarket at the White Rabbit, and things got really crazy. And there was a railing at the front of the stage. Sam, you were there. I, I, <laughs> but you. these people, these exactly. people don't know, so it's okay. So there's a railing at the front of the stage, and people could come in through the back, and they were trying to crowd surf. And this one guy, he he wasn't trying to go over anyone. He just went straight in, and one of his legs was straight, and one of them was completely bent. And a girl got just completely kneed in the face. And I was like, holy oh, shit. shit. And then, like, you kind of see him. And then I, I didn't see her. And then two seconds later, she's, like, <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> sprung back. back out of All smiles. So I'm like, all right, I guess she's good. But <laughs> it was pretty intense. <laughs> 